Hi guys, it's Natalie Bangon, also known as Mother Goose. I wanted to do a short video today on the concept of empathy, consideration, and compassion. Empathy, consideration, and compassion is not something that we are born with. It's not something that we know about. We come into this world with the concept of the survival of the fetus. Do everything I can to survive. We are very into our own needs being met as an infant and as a child as we grow older we, the baby takes everything for themselves puts everything in their mouth they have no concept of sharing till maybe the age of five and six it's all about what i want right now at this moment my needs my desires my wants which if a parent doesn't teach a child in a healthy way to balance that out the child can um end up growing up and developing narcissistic personality disorders or traits of it and if they have no recognition of the self they could go into becoming developing dependency personality disorder and people pleasing and constantly um, living for others and low self-esteem empathy has to be taught compassion has to be taught you might ask how do you do that you do that by pointing it out to your child and saying, do you see what that child looks like right now? So today we were at a beautiful Brit Mila. Everything was magnificent. The tables had teddy bears on it. Some people had kids, some took, some didn't take, some left their bears behind. So my kids took the ones at the other table that had just left. So we ended up leaving with like more than one bear. As we came outside on the corner of my eyes, I see this two-year-old boy eyeing all the teddy bears and people's hands. Then I noticed my daughter, one of my daughters, noticing the boy. I walked up to her. I went on her level. I said, what do you see? She said, I'm seeing him looking at the bears. My other child came and the other one, and we spoke about it. Apparently, their family got no bear. So I said to them, what do you think we can do? This boy has no bear, and it seems like he really wants a bear. And I, I, know, I don't know if you remember or not, Last week, I took them to build the bear because they had a sale and we had a fantastic time. Each of them got to build their own bear and we spoke about how fantastic it was when they got that bear. And I reminded them what they do have at home. I did not push anything on anyone. And one of them said, Ima, I want him to have it. She walks up to the boy and says, we got to ask the father permission. So we asked the father permission and the mother came and we explained it and they said, if they want to give it, that's fine. The smile on this child's face was amazing, right? However, as he got the bear, his baby brother comes. So he looks at the baby brother, looks at my kids, and gives one the bear that he was holding. Because I told him, I said, my kids had another bear. And they wanted to share this with you. So then what happened? He noticed what we did. So he had empathy for his brother. Then my other child, because they had more than one bear, comes forward and says, I already got a bear from the Build-A-Bear last week, Mommy. I also want to give mine so him and the little brother can have a bear. This literally was the highlight of my day. I cannot begin to tell you how amazed I was. And when we sat in the car, I said to them, I want you to know that in Shamayim, your Nishamot are making abundance of light and goodness god is proud of you me and me and abba are so proud of you of what you did you were a mevater you compromised and you had empathy and consideration for the other two kids that got no bear at all and the smile on their face will stay forever and ever and no one can buy that only action and choices we make makes that happen and who made that happen? The two of you are responsible for it. And the other two also were very empathetic and supportive of the other sibling. And I said, and I'm proud of you for that. This is how we create awareness of empathy. We notice, we look, we point out, and this is how our children are going to learn by us role modeling it. It's not always about taking, bringing, making, opportunities are right in front of us and we could either lose it or thrive with it thank you so much for watching this is natalie bangon also known as mother goose